Today we're taking a quick look at MT4 connectors and how they're put on the cables. The MT4 connectors are connected to the solar panels and they connect the solar panels to each other but they're also used to connect the panels to the inverter. Okay, so they're common DC connections used in the uh, solar industry. These are the two halves plugged together and if you push the uh, clips in here you can pull the two halves apart so you can see the male and the female side of the connector. Now on the male side here you can just see there's a positive sign so that's the positive side of the connector wherever there's a positive cable one of these will be on the end and this one if I just angle it correctly to the light you may be able to see there's a negative sign just here by my thumb and that goes on the negative cable. These are the parts that connect together inside the connectors. So what you need to do is crimp these onto the wires, put them inside the connectors, and then they do the electrical connection inside. The tools you'll need are a pair of pliers to cut the cable, an MT4 crimper, and a knife or a wire stripper. The pliers and the knife are very common, you can use any of those. The MC4 crimper, this is a cheap one and it's well worth just buying one for the job rather than botching it. This one does different sizes in the jaw. You can see it's got a 2.5mm crimper, a 4mm and a 6mm. And this was about £10 and it's well worth getting one so you can make a proper job of the connections. To start with, take your solar cable. This is 4mm cable but you may have 6 or a different size and um, strip approximately 10 millimeters off the end of it. I'm just using a Stanley knife and rolling it against my thumb as I don't have a, uh, a cable stripper but you can use a cable stripper if you have one. And When you've done that just twist the end off and you'll be left with the, uh, the bare stranded end. Okay so I twist that up just so it doesn't fray and it's ready to go into one of the connectors. Firstly I'm going to do the positive end. So unscrew the cap on the end. This is the uh, cable restraint inside and um, this makes sure that no undue or unwanted atten uh, tension comes on the connection and put those onto the end of the stripped cable like that. Next you'll take the positive MT4 connector. This is the bigger one. It's actually um, the female inside a male connector. It's a very strange way of doing it but that's how it is so it's the one that goes over the outside. Okay so just hold the connector on to the end of the cable with your finger like this and then take the crimping tool put the jaws around like that just close them so they're just holding it slightly make sure it's in the right position and then all you do with the crimper is squeeze the handle until it won't squeeze anymore. If you then let it go, you can see that it's made a really nice job of the crimp. That's now a good connection. Taking the positive end, plug it in. Once you've plugged it in, it's quite difficult to get out again, so make sure you've done it right. You'll hear a click. And then if you take the cable and the waterproofing restraint, push it up to the thread and then screw the cap on. And that's it. So I'll just show you how to do a negative end. Cut your MC4 where it needs to be with a pair of pliers. Use a Stanley knife or a cable stripper to strip 10 millimeters off the end. Twist the insulation off and then just twist the bare cable to stop it fraying. Take the cable restraint and the nut off the MC4 connector, thread them onto the wire Now for crimping the plug on, insert it inside the plug 
I find it best to hold it on with my other finger like this as you do the crimping. Take the crimper, put it in the right size. Mine's a four millimeter, so I'm putting it in the middle like that. Squeeze the handles until you can't squeeze them anymore. And there you can see there's a nice crimp. Then insert it inside the connector until it clicks. Push together the waterproofing and the cable restraints and screw the nut on. When that's done up all the way tight, you can then see that I have a positive on one end, a negative on the other, and they can push together like that. And if you want to get them apart again, squeeze the clips in and pull them apart. And that's all there is to uh, putting MC4 connectors on the ends of solar cable. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.